February 6th. The memory of our Holy Father, St. Photius, the Patriarch of Constantinople. St. Photius was a great beacon of the Church. He was a relative of the Emperor and a grandson of the glorious Patriarch Tereus. He vigorously protected the Church from papal love of power and other Roman distortions of the faith. He went in six days through all the ecclesiastical ranks, rising from a layman to a patriarch. He was consecrated patriarch on the feast of the Nativity of Christ in the year 857, and he reposed in the Lord in the year 891. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heaven, the King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art at war present and fillest all things, treasury blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Sounding forth sweet hymns of discernment which soothe all those in sorrows. Ye moved men to cast off passion's yoke and trample upon Satan's loathsome head. Wherefore, God, like Barsanophius and wise John, deliver us who now cry out, Glory to him that has given you grace. Glory to him that has blessed you. Glory to him that has saved many through your sacred words of counsel. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and words shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. O Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. The holy broad luminary, saintly namesake of light itself, O Photius, drive off the bitter darkness shrouding my mind, and make me to shine with beamings of divine light, that I might extol thine achievements with the joy of heart. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. We know thee to be a teacher of the Church, a bright light of grace, an unshaken pillar of confession, grounded in truth, an immovable support of the divine faith. O venerable Photius, thou mouth breathing forth with fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou lawfully strove in the contest, hazarding all thy life, defending the saving preaching as a faithful high priest, choking as a beast vain and Nicholas the erring, by yielding the cause of thy doctrines inspired of God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise all holy Mary, who has alone adorned the race of us men with grace and truth and beauty and joy. For she has conceived the very God incarnate, remaining a virgin inviolate as before.
Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name, and by thy grace divine, O may deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. O holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. To catch in thy nights the Slavic people, as thou sendst them, fishermen of grace, great Cyril and Methodius, thy venerable ambassadors, on whose great apostolic tolls thou didst bestow thine unceasing care. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. The serpent of heresies, smitten with death by thy doctrines wise in God, was striking on them as a stone, he fell back with a broken head. Wherefore the whole church of Christ does sing thy praises, thy rightful due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With excellent proofs from Holy Scripture didst thou clearly demonstrate to all that God the Spirit does proceed from God the Father singularly, and that the Holy Trinity is perfect in his equality. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Father's eternal word and wisdom beyond all beginning and divine, received beginning in thy womb, and he that is beyond all time, becomes subject unto time, from thee incarnate, O full of grace. O great power, Sanofius, and John the marvelous prophet, all the hidden secrets of men and of God's dispensation, brightly shone in the clear mirrors of your most pure hearts, and with beams of grace divine ye cast out sin's shadows from the souls of men, O fathers, lights of discernment, entreat the Lord for us all. Emulating Elias in fiery zeal, and that earth-dwelling angel, the Baptist John, Thou manfully distribute haughty kings who transgress the law, while divinely adorning the throne of thy bishopric, thou didst make the world rich with thy teachings of godliness. Wherefore, O wise Father, making use of divine writ, thou madest the faithful firm while correcting the infidels, Hierarch Photius most marvelous, Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God most pure partaketh of purifications of the law to confirm to me that he has from a virgin taken flesh. For lo, the Ancient of Days is obeyed for my sake. And Simeon, who was instructed in these things, recognized in him God revealed in the flesh. As very life he them and then embraced him, and in his old age cried out with joy, Let me depart now, for I have seen thee, O thou life of all creatures. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcendent comes on a light cloud as king of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand them that cry to him, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. O holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Thou in youth was sober-minded, and in old age exceeding wise, being all thy life long noble, persevering long-suffering, and filled with fervent affection for all of them that cry unto thy beloved, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign mind. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Shining with transcendent splendor, thine august and unspotted life is a rule of virtue, glorified through fasting and ceaseless prayer, and valiant courage in sorrows and adversities, 
whereby thou wast sealed with the bright wounds of the crucified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grudging slumber to thine eyelids, till thou mayst thyself a house filled with grace and beauty for the Sovereign King, the all-seeing God, thou undertookst great labours as a man of God, to whom thou didst cry, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign mind. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast marvellously quickened all mankind, which was put to death, raising us from ruin, when thou gavest birth inexpressibly unto the giver of life, O Lady, who does save them that cry with faith, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign mind. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory made, O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock, for thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gavest birth to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O Holy Father, Photius, pray to God for us. Receiving the grace of God, thou was revealed as a sanctified friend and habitation of the Spirit, divinely teaching the saving knowledge of God, whose mysteries were made known unto thee, that thou mightst take up arms in defense of the blameless faith. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Thine eloquent tongue became the reed and pen of the Comforter, who does swiftly give divine deliverance to those acknowledging his full sovereignty, and breathe the knowledge from above into their believing souls, O wise Photius, inspired of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ showed thee to all the world, O Photius, flashing forth lighting light, with the grace of speech and sacred doctrine, driving away the assaults of heretics, enlightening the souls of faithful men, who extol thee joyously, the divine preacher of the faith. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A virgin has brought forth him who was before all eternity, born her son and clothed with human nature, saving the nature of man from death and decay by means of his willing cross and death, as the hierarch Photius taught, as the virgins initiate. On this divine and most honoured feast of God's all-holy mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she has born. O holy Father Photius, pray to God the for great us. great stentorian trumpet, who had clearly preached the Spirit's procession from the Father timeless, the Son of Thunders new sounding forth, let apostolic Photius be fittingly extolled. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. The wanton pride of all heresies, broken into pieces beyond repair, by thy most holy words, O saintly Photius of sacred fame, Wherefore the faithful splendidly keep thy festival. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The whole assembly of Orthodox does leap with joy, beholding a venerable successor to the grace of Basil, Gregory, and Chrysostom, O apostolic Photius, thou champion of truth. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy pure conception I praise with hymns, I sing of thine ineffable bringing forth, O virgin grace of God, and thy protection I magnify, whereby I am kept safe, fleeing to thy peaceful calm. Let that resplendent and far shining star of Christ God's church, let that divinely given guide of all the orthodox be now crowned with comely garlands of songs and praises. The good comforters divinely sounding harp of truth and the steadfast adversary of all heresy. Let us cry to him, Rejoice, O Fortius, most 
most venerable. Thou hast shown to be an angel from among men, O Father, who from the earth didst attain unto heaven. Wherefore, as I consider thee rivaling the incorporeal powers, I am amazed, and with longing I reverently cry to thee such things as these. Rejoice thou through whom the Trinity is worshipped. Rejoice thou through whom God is hymned rightly. Rejoice, most upright canon of the orthodox. Rejoice, most steadfast rebuker of the iniquitous. Rejoice, height of humility hard to reach for many. Rejoice, depth of discernment too deep for the eyes of mortals. Rejoice, for thou becamest the divine sacrificer of God. Rejoice, for thou bringest to God many of the saved. Rejoice, who with God's martyrs dwellest together. Rejoice, thou who art the monastic saint's companion. Rejoice, thou by whom the profane are undone. Rejoice, thou by whom the faithful are confirmed. Rejoice, O Photius, most venerable. Rejoice, O Photius, most venerable. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly-minded use adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O Holy Father Fortius, pray to God for us. Apostolic zeal enkindled thee to send the light of Christ unto the Slavs, for whom thou bearest the pangs of faithful travail until thou brought them forth to God, saved from heresy and every plot and subtle snare of the ministers of darkness. Holy Father Fortius, pray to God for us. Guided by thy word, we worship one divinity in three hypostases, equal in nature and throne, unsevered, unmingled, all perfect in every way, who delivers all of those who worship him with faith while acclaiming the Ophotia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Purified like gold through arduous and endless toils and bitter banishment, thy bright confession of faith was pleasing to God, and appealed the state, the church, in the day of trial. And thou art rightfully glorified with the saints in light, O Father. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who gavest birth to him that is the light of all, O Virgin, quick to hear, break through the night of my soul with the life-giving rays of the sun that shone forth from thee, that with joy of heart I might revere thee worthily, O all holy Theotokos. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear, then in figure and in type now in very truth indeed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant, he works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Mightily the fountains of thy doctrines have poured forth the limpid streams and watered all the church, quickening the plants of faith, choking tears of heresy, and making glad the orthodox who keep thy festival with gratitude. O marvellous Photius, praising thee while worshipping Christ to all the ages. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Thou hast found that high and tranquil haven, escaping the fury of the swelling waves of life, for thou had Almighty God steering thy whole course on high, and now thou sends beams of light to guide the mariners who sail the storm, and look to that country where thou now dost dwell, and us pray that we attain to. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. He that does proceed from God the Father, destroyed the deception that proceeded forth from Rome, when he raised thee to the height of the sacred bishopric, for he foresaw the diligence and godly piety and gentleness with which thou wouldst battle for the truth that dwells with love, O Father Photia. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As a fragrant flower in the valleys, a spotless and sparkling lily free of any stain, as a rose amidst the thorns and a bloom of paradise, thy bridegroom took delight in thee, and came to dwell in thee, and made the world. Why noise them with passions fragrant with the Godhead, O Mother of our Maker? Let every earth-born man leap in the Spirit, and now hold his torch on high, 
and let all the bodiless noetic hosts now celebrate joyously the Theotokos' sublime and sacred festival. As they cry out, Rejoice, O thou blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. O holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. I bring my whole self to thy strong protection and paternal care for souls, for with apostolic grace thou hast received authority from the Lord to lose transgressions and to break the cords of all my sins and to bind me to the quickening love of Christ through thine earnest entreaties, O friend of God. Holy Father Photius, pray to God for us. Sundered and released from all earthly things, O Photius, thou art taken up to the never-setting light and stands with the angels before the throne of the Almighty and eternal light of three great sons, while delighting in the brightness sent from thence, which thou sheds on us as we sing thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Joining truth and love, thou meekly didst reason with thy hardened enemies, then with holy bravery didst bear their blows and billows with mind unmoved, a lamb, a fearless shepherd, and a martyr all at once, Father Fortius, now be our ambassador and beseech God to save us who sing thy prayers. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, since he has will to deify me, is now united unto thee, and he does inaugurate a dread incomprehensible mystery. Thou as a virgin gives birth, and God is born a man to save mankind. Praising him we call thee blessed, as of old thou, O Mary, didst prophesy. Since all the church possesses thee as a most ardent champion and an illustrious teacher, she celebrateth thy memory with joy will crying out to thee, ever protect this flock of thine, and from the harm of heresy keep it in safety, O Photius, the great high priest of the Lord God. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be carried in the arms of righteous Simeon for our salvation, Christ our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, and of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, Photius the Confessor, Patriarch of Constantinople, the equal to the Apostles. With the prayers of our righteous fathers, Barsanufius the Great and John the Prophet, his disciple. With the prayer of our righteous father, Bucolus, Bishop of Smyrna, of the holy martyr Julian of Amasa. With the prayers of Saints Mel, Melku and Munis. With the prayers of Saint Ina and Ethelburga. With the prayers of Saint Mon and those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.